I was supposed to publish the Getting Ready for the World Grand Prix remake, but since that was too short, I guess we're going to be doing the review of the car who mainly appeared during the remake, who that is, the World Grand Prix Lightning McQueen with racing wheels. <laughs> And hello everybody, how are you doing? This is Tanner and today we're going to be taking a look at the World Grand Prix Lightning McQueen with racing wheels. This Lightning McQueen is the main Lightning McQueen that mainly appeared during Cars 2. The one with the racing wheels. McQueen got released with a few other types of wheels. One with party wheels and another with travel wheels. McQueen also got released a bunch since 2011, which was his initial release. Whether it was singles, two-packs, multi-packs, whether it was China, Thailand, or Vietnam, he got released so much that people were starting to get bored of him during the time of 2015 and 2016. But during the events of 2017, the production of the World Grand Prix McQueen was stopped due to Cars 3. In 2018, McQueen was re-released in 2018 packaging. He was also released in the 2019 Blue Desert packaging, 2020 as well. In 2021, he got released in a two-pack with Mater. And in 2022, he got released again. But he has a little update that he has the holes on the bottom so that the new Mater can actually tow to him. So I guess enough rambling and let's take a look at the die cast. So on the front, there's this nice smile with the headlights. On the right side, there's the lightning bolt to flame with the number 95, World Grand Prix on the bottom, and all in all. There's the badge which says World Grand Prix with the logo and the American flag behind the 95. There's the gas cap. In the back, there's his taillights, World Grand Prix, the badge, piled by all in all, and the American flag, which is a little bit chipped up, so I'm very sorry about that. Same thing on the other side, but flipped. On the hood, there's the Hudson Hornet Piston Cup logo with some ghost flames in the background. Of course, he has blue eyes. And he has the 95 logo on the top, fading from yellow on the top and to red in the bottom. Of course, he has red window bars. And his spoiler is blank red with the text World Grand Prix. And he also has flames on the flares. I don't have the Hudson Hornet Piston Cup Lightning McQueen, so I guess the comparisons are going to be a little bit short. But anyways, first of all, here's the Cars 1 Lightning McQueen, which during the events of Cars 2, this is mainly what YouTubers or people were comparing this Lightning McQueen to, which was the classic one. As you can see, during Cars 1 and Cars 2, McQueen got a lot of upgrades. For starters, on the right side, he actually got a gas cap. Uh, second of all, I think the the top part is actually taller. I think he is. Third of all, he has new wheels, of course. And fourth of all, he has a completely different spoiler. Oh, and one thing I should mention is... Is that I actually customized this Lightning McQueen. Uh, he originally came with gray rims. But I truly believe that in the movie. Lightning had black rims. And to be honest. When I customized this car with the black rims. He looks so much better. Okay. Uh, we're going to compare him to one more Lightning McQueen. Which is the Dragon Lightning McQueen. Many people, if they didn't have a World Grand Prix McQueen, which would have been impossible, I think that people would have made World Grand Prix McQueen out of the Dragon McQueen, if they even had one. Because if they don't have the World Grand Prix McQueen, then they must not have the, the Dragon McQueen. Sorry that my grammar is actually pretty bad on this one. This is, of course, Dragon Lightning McQueen with oil stains, because it's the only Dragon Lightning McQueen that I have. Because if I had the original, I of course would bring out the original and not the one with the oil stains. The headlights, as you can see, they're also different. By Cars 1, Lightning had stickers for his headlights. But during Cars 2 and Cars 3, Lightning has proper headlights. 
the flares are the flares is bigger on the um Dragon McQueen and it's smaller on the World Grand Prix McQueen. Okay. I guess this is not really a comparison, but I am gonna bring out the race teammater from Cars 2. Because of course, Lightning wouldn't be going in the World Grand Prix without Mater. Because after all, Mater was the real cause why McQueen went to the World Grand Prix. So basically McQueen was in point A, point B, point C, point D. He had the whole circle running around with him. And Mater would be coming with him as well. So point A, Radiator Springs. Point B, Tokyo. Point C, Italy. Point D, London. So McQueen and Mater were first at uh, Radiator Springs. Then they went to point B, which is Tokyo. But uh, between Tokyo and Italy, McQueen and Mater kind of separated after the argument. McQueen went to Italy, but Mater went to Paris before going to Italy. But by that point, they were both separated. Wait, let me zoom out first. There we go. They were both separated. Then McQueen went to London. Mater kind of went with him, but he was still separated. But then during a few laps of the London race, they reunited. And then Mater saved the day and blah, blah, blah. And then they had the Radiator Springs Grand Prix. The end of Cars 2. Anyways, that's basically it for the review of the World Grand Prix Lightning McQueen. Thank you so much for watching. Champion Racer Collection signing out. See you guys in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.